If you go camping or overlanding, this might just be the best power station you can get. Let me explain why. So this is the Blue Eddy AC180. So we don't make this boring, let me quickly go over all the stats and then we can try this thing out. So this power station has a 1,152 watt hour capacity. It's got an 1,800 watt output with a 2,700 watt surge. That means it can run a lot of things at once. It also fully charges in about an hour with fast charging. It's quiet at 40 decibels. It weighs about 35 pounds, which is pretty light for such a big battery. So why exactly is this power station the best out of all the other ones? There's Jackery, there's Anchor, there's EcoFlow, and there's Blue Eddy. Those are the main kind of brands for the power stations. Why is this one better? So let me go over a few things. First off, the convenience. There's a little wireless charging pad up here that you can just throw your phone on and charge it, which is really nice so you don't have to connect any cords. It's a standard box design, which is nice to load into your rig and you can stack things on top of it, no problem. It's got two handles on either side. It's relatively light for the size of the battery. And it's got all the modern stuff. It's got the USB-C with a high 100 watt output. It's got four USB-As. It's got a nice modern screen showing you the input, the output. You have eco mode if you need it. You have your estimated battery life. You have a 12 volt outlet. You've got a solar panel charging and a car charging port. And then you've got four AC outlets. It's got the regular charging port on this side. It's got fans on either side. Most power stations have a lot of this. So what makes this one better? The reason I like this one, including the shape and all of that, is the discharge. For camping, especially in the winter, the discharge temperature on this power station is negative 20 degrees Celsius, which unlike my previous EcoFlow, was negative 10 degrees Celsius, and that's a big difference. So if you're camping in negative 10 or 15 degrees Celsius, your EcoFlow will die on you and start dying a lot quicker, but this one will survive even the coldest temperatures. Possibly the biggest factor of my choice of power station is right here. This 12 volt DC outlet on the EcoFlows or the anchors aren't able to power a diesel heater properly. It will run for a little bit and the power surge will be too high and it will shut off. Now the only brands that I've found that work is Blue Eddy and Jackery. Those are the two power stations that have been able to run my diesel heater. But compared to Jackery, this is a lot more modern with all the apps and the ergonomics of the square. I find it charges faster and for me it just works a lot better. So if I had to choose any power station, this is definitely the one to choose. Now let's try to power some different equipment with this power station and see what loads it can handle. So for my first test, I'm going to be powering some tools. So this isn't exactly for overlanding, but say you want to power some power tools or even fix something on the trail. Let's plug in this jigsaw, turn it on, turn on the AC. Now let's see if it can power it. So that just put out about 400 watts of output. So this power station could even power four of these at once with the output. Now let's do a real world test. Let's say you have to cut something with this jigsaw. So that's cut. Now, let's say you're on the trail and you need to do some construction. Let's plug in this grinder. Now let's see if this grinder can cut through this threaded rod. Perfect. Now let's see how much output the grinder produces. Okay, now we've grinded this, we've cut that. Now the next question is, say you're camping in your trailer and you need to use your microwave. You don't want to power up the generator because it's so loud and you have one of these power stations. Plug the microwave right in. 
Turn it on to 30 seconds, and then you start. Now you can see the microwave drawing 1200 watts of power. And now let's say you wanna use your power tools while you use the microwave. Let's see if this is possible. I'm gonna power the jigsaw. Now let's really push it. And there's the microwave done. That was 1900 watts of power, which is below the power surge, just slightly above the 1800 watt rating. And the power station never shut off, never turned off the microwave. So you can do construction while heating up your food with this power station. This power station could be used for more than overlanding or camping. It can also be used in trailers to use AC, microwaves, anything electric in your trailer. It's not gonna last as long as a generator with AC, for example. But when you are camping, you can combine this with a small generator to charge this while this is plugged into the house because this has an inverter. So the power station is gonna be drawing all that power into the trailer while the generator is slowly charging it up. And you can use this thing camping during quiet hours on its own, during the night, to turn on your lights, your stove, your kettle, anything electric. As seen by my tool demonstration, this power station can be used beyond camping and overlanding. Imagine you're on the job site and you put this thing in the back of your truck. You can use this thing to power and charge all of your tools for the week or the two weeks because you're gonna use like 1% to cut through all of that. So at the job site, this is perfect. Now, what if you wanna keep this power station charged on the trails? Well, you have two options. This power station comes with this 12 volt adapter, so you can plug it right into here, into this top port, and plug this right into your vehicle. This will charge your power station in about three to five hours. So if you're on a long trip, this will do just fine if you're overlanding from point A to point B. But what if you wanna charge your power station faster? Well, Blue Eddie thought of this. This is their charger one, and this is how it works. So basically, when you order this guy, you can get it right with this power station, and this can charge your unit in about one to two hours. So let me explain how it works. You connect these two terminals to your battery, then you run this whole wire through your vehicle to wherever you wanna charge your power station. You have this running through your vehicle. It also comes with a breaker fuse to prevent causing any damage to your battery of the vehicle. You have these two terminals that you plug right into here. So you put the positive in the positive, the negative in the negative, tighten this up, and then you clamp it in. And this little unit itself, you mount into your vehicle anywhere you want, and it's different on every vehicle. And once this is plugged in, the other side gets plugged in and connects and charges right through this solar panel or 12 volt outlet. If you're serious about overlanding, this little unit is a game changer. So overall, I've tried Anchor power stations, I've tried Jackery power stations, I've tried EcoFlow power stations, and this is my all-time favorite power station. This will power a heated blanket for two nights easy. This will power a diesel heater for a week or two. This will power power tools, microwave, anything. You don't have to worry about it, and it's relatively small for how much output it has. It weighs about 30 to 35 pounds, which is pretty light for a power station, and it doesn't take up much room, and it's very ergonomic as a box. That's it for today. I hope you guys found this video helpful. Let me know what power station is your guys' favorite and which one you guys would use. And let me know, would you buy a power station this big or would you rather a smaller power station you charge more often? If you guys are interested in any of these power stations by Blue Eddy, I'll leave a link for this one below and I have a discount code on 5% on anything on their website if you guys want to check it out. This video was not sponsored. I don't have any affiliate associations to this link. This is just my personal opinion. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one. See you later.